Hello, my name is Stephen Harrison. I'm a forecaster with the National Weather Service in San Diego. I'm going to give you a quick update on the Santa Ana winds that we are currently experiencing and will continue to experience through at least Sunday here in Southern California. So what's been producing these Santa Ana winds? Well, it's the surface high pressure that's been persistent over the Great Basin area and it shows up pretty well here on this model projection of the surface pressure and um, winds. So you can see that the surface high pressure has been persistent and bringing offshore flow otherwise known as Santa Ana winds to Southern California which has resulted in the uh, critical fire weather threat we've been facing for much of this week and we'll continue to face it through this weekend and into next week although the winds will be much weaker starting Monday so that's some good news. Now here's a look at the high resolution wind projection from our local wharf model and this is showing surface winds uh, the arrows indicate what direction the winds are moving and the blue colors uh, indicate stronger winds. So this loop starts uh, late tonight, early Saturday morning and continues all the way through Sunday. And so you can see the winds really increasing in, um, in coverage, becoming more widespread across the mountains, valleys and even into the coastal areas and especially picking up in strength on Sunday, Saturday night and Sunday. So it looks like we'll get another burst of Santa Ana winds this weekend, especially Saturday night and Sunday when we could have another uh, pretty bad day in terms of fire weather threat. And speaking of Sunday, here's the maximum wind gust forecast for Sunday. And you have a bunch of ranges that are indicated on the map the, in terms of wind speeds that we could see. So Pretty much 40 to 60 mile per hour gusts are possible in the coastal foothills of San Diego County and into some of the far inland valleys. Places such as Alpine, Julian, Descanso, San Diego Country Estates could see gusts of 40 to 60. And then the winds will actually make it all the way to the coast again, kind of like they did on Thursday, except it's going to be not as strong as it was on Thursday. So, and specifically, the lilac fire. Uh, could see 25 to 40 mile per hour gusts on Sunday. Elsewhere, Orange County, Riverside County, San Bernardino County, not quite as strong as in San Diego County, but still bringing a big uh, fire weather threat due to how gusty those winds are going to be, and it's going to continue to be very dry as well. Relative humidities will be down into the single digits to low teens. So it's still going to be a critical fire weather threat for pretty much all of Southern California except for the deserts. So this little table shows you the uh, potential impacts over the next seven days for various weather threats. And so highlighted here are the wind and fire weather threats. Today and tomorrow we have weaker Santa Ana winds than what we had on Thursday, yesterday, and then on Sunday, the wet fire weather threat picks up, and um, you can see the red category there. And that's because the Santa Ana winds become a little stronger that day and more widespread. And we'll still have very low relative humidity, so fire, any fires that are active or start will be susceptible to growing extremely rapidly, especially Sunday. There's also um, a moderate wind threat on Sunday with that increase in the winds. Some areas in the coastal foothills uh, could see winds near 60 miles per hour. So that could uh, create hazardous conditions, driving conditions for high profile vehicles and you might see some branches on the roadways and maybe a, a little bit of blowing dust. Going into next week, Monday through Thursday, like I mentioned before, we'll still have some offshore flow or Santana winds, but it looks like at this moment they'll be much weaker, so the fire weather threat will decrease down to about a, a minor, minor fire weather threat at that time. That's it for this video weather briefing update. Please go to weather.gov slash San Diego to keep track of the latest forecasts and warnings. Thanks for watching.